welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you guys we're reading for the lovely star sign of aries so aries let's grab the book of answers and see what's coming out for you to start with where do i want to stop for aries the situation is unclear mm, the situation is unclear there's something around you at the moment that you're unsure of sorry guys i keep knocking this camera today let me just make sure that that's fine so yeah, something's unclear on a situation. So let's start shuffling the cards and see if we can highlight what's going on for you, Aries. What's going on for Aries, please? Aries, Aries, Aries. We have the Steward of Wands and wow the sun and it's like to say take a leap of faith go with your gut feeling if on this situation what you're unclear of and follow your own lead on this don't get influenced by others and the outcome will be a positive one so if you're worrying about something at the moment of an outcome of something and are you going in the right direction Take a leaf out of the Steward of Wands card here, knowing that you will get the right outcome on this. So I want to say stop worrying about something at the minute. Okay, there's something on your mind you're unsure of, and it's saying try not to worry because the outcome on this is positive. Let's have a look what your inner spirit's feeling. And we've got the perfect key. There's a perfect solution here to open up this problem to get to the bottom of something i want to say some of you are keeping a secret or somebody is holding some information back from you this is what your soul is telling you to be mindful of that that you're not getting the full picture on something it's as though there's one piece of the jigsaw puzzle that's just not fitting right and not sitting right with you okay the universe comes in with the ego collapse Okay, collapse of the ego. The universe is saying something is just not sitting right with you at the moment. And there's a strong person around you. Who is sort of making out their right on a situation. It's either they're being stubborn and saying, no, 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 you've got this wrong. And you're thinking, man, I know I'm right on this. And the universe is sort of highlighting this. They're painting the picture there for you of you seem to be caught up in this sort of situation at the moment. I feel some of you could be influenced as well about this pressure somewhere about finances. It's as though the banks or your building societies are sending letters of, are you investing your money wisely? You should, and all these letters keep coming through. And it's like, I know what I want to do with my own financial situation. I'm okay at what I'm doing. So I don't need this interference. I don't need that policy. Okay. It's like somebody's trying to pressurize you. Um, and, I, and your conscience is saying you don't need this. Okay, you know what's best for you. So it's very cryptic, Aries. Let's just grab one of my oracle cards out of here now for you. And we've got celebration. So there's some kind of party atmosphere going on um, that's going to be coming in towards the end of the month celebration for some good news okay you could also just be baking a cake for somebody yourself or somebody's baking a cake for you and just handing it to you and saying there you go i've done this for you okay so that's in the mix for some let's just grab the movie book of answers and see what's coming out in here before we go on any further so the back for you this is your moment and it's Aurora Greenaway, Terms of Endearment. 
This is your moment. Wasn't that a song by Martin McCutcheon years and years ago? Something about something moment. I'll have to put that in the description box below. But um, yeah, this is your moment. This is your moment in standing up for yourself, taking action, taking that leap of faith, okay? Um, telling people not to interfere as well. So start living a life for you. Aries, let's um, have a look what your animal spirit cards are. And we've got the frog, which is the alchemical sign of water, with, wow, the alchemical sign of earth, and it's the horse. This is your energy of late. You've had to be adaptable like the frog, okay? Everything seems to have been raining on my parade, but you have weathered this, and you are going to be turning into this beautiful freedom of the horse, the free-spirited horse, and there's like liberation here, um, a sense of I've, I've done this, I've got through this, um, I've told that person where to go, okay, it's that kind of an energy, and, and it's just this sense of freedom around you, there's a new moon here, so there's a new cycle that you are going into, a new challenge for some of you as well, okay, but it's a beautiful energy, Let's just have a look what the fairy realms are coming out with then. What else have we got for Aries? And we've got the balance act. And this is the fairy saying, there's something that's been on the tipping point that you've now got back in balance. Plus the fact there's firm foundations being put down here as well. So there's like a, something that you can build on as well that the balancing act is coming in. Just have a look what spirit wants to add on to that for you then Aries. What else have we got for Aries, please? Be adventurous. Do something different to keep your spark alive. And if you look at that card, it's like she's going outside of her boundaries here, widening her aura, widening her skills and knowledge. And this is what I feel spirit are saying to you we have no limits we have no boundaries there's something in this fairy card where somebody needs to be working with stone or carving with stone marble um there's something about stone or sculpture working with your hands okay but i can see somebody working with stone or you are working with like a modeling clay to look like runes or stones that's not going to resonate with everybody but that, that made me grab that just to bring that message across i'm just going to grab the last book the new one that the latest one i've had this one here and we'll have a look what ends up finally in your reading this week. It will serve as a sign. Henry James, A Tragedy of Error, it's from. It will serve as a sign. So there might be something that you see this week, something that somebody tells you, a feeling that might come across you, and just to know it will serve as a sign. So just to remember those words, okay? So my lovely Aries, I hope you can take something from that reading this week. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. And until next time, you take care of yourself. Bye then.